So I'm pleased to have been joined by Nick de Roche, who's client director at AIG. Thank you for taking the time to come see us, Welcome. Nick. Um, sitting here on Monday, very much at the start of the conference. Um, mm -hmm. What's AIG up to over the next couple of days? Okay, we've got um, three core themes uh, that we're really focusing on uh, this year. And strangely enough, none of them are actually uh, to do with risk transfer as such. It's really around the services that we offer to our clients. Uh, and the first one is Client Risk Solutions, or CRS, which is a, a relatively new entity within uh, ARG. And really, it's, it's recognising the fact that our risk manager clients um, probably have less resource than they once did, and they're facing a more complex and broader risk landscape. And so they need more help to be able to manage their risk. And so what we've done is set up a, a new entity, which I think none of our competitors actually has. Um, everybody else seems to have um, a range of risk consultants across property, liability, motor, cyber and so on, as do we. But what we're now doing is bringing all of this together as a, as a cohesive unit uh, and we're trying to strip away those silos between each line of business. And it is really just a repository of, of talent and expertise, knowledge and experience that we want to bring together to find solutions for our clients, mm. whatever those solutions might be. Um, they don't necessarily need to have uh, risk transfer attached to them in a traditional way. It could be anything that's actually on the risk register of our client that we may be able to find some kind of solution for. So uh, like all insurers, we have a huge amount of data from claims, from risk consulting, and we can bring that into play through something called client-centric analytics, where we play back to our client where their claims are coming from, and then start the risk consulting approach that way. And then there's all kinds of innovation that we're looking at as well, which could be in-house, or it could be um, setting up partnerships with third-party companies as well. A great example of that is BitSight, which is a fantastic uh, offering, which uh, is mainly around a report that's provided that at any given moment in time uh, assesses and scores the cyber exposure of a particular client based on um, public domain uh, available information around their cyber exposure and it scores it out of uh, 800 uh, and, and this is something that we've rolled out to a few clients in the UK and they've been really bowled away by it. You know, they think it's really something that's quite quite new and innovative. Mm. Okay. We're looking at things like wearable technology and, and, and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean um, you choose to be an mm. AMIC partner so yeah. I guess just a, a mm. couple of brief kind of comments, mm. why, why do you choose to be a partner mm. and then why does, where does the conference fit into that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, AMIC has always been very, very important to ARG, I think for a number of reasons. First of all, we have to recognise that AMIC is the, uh, the body that, recommend, that uh, represents the risk manager community uh, and you know, in that large client sector. Uh, and so, you know, it's very, very important that we uh, align ourselves closely with the AMIC members and listen uh, to what's on their mind so that we can um, evolve our products and services accordingly, um, you know, based on you know, what they tell us. Yeah, yeah. So that's absolutely crucial. It, it also allows us through the Academy program to showcase our own expertise as well. Uh, we've done a couple of sessions this year on mergers and acquisitions and also the taxation angles to captives. And then uh, I guess this particular conference here, in, every year it gives us a fantastic networking opportunity. Uh, you know, just wandering around the place, you'll see clients and brokers you haven't seen for a while. And it's, a, it's a fantastic opportunity oh. to, to catch up and uh, find out what's going on with them. Cool. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, look, I wish you a very happy and successful conference. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you for taking the time to come and speak to us. Thank you. Good. Thank Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it too. Thank you.